now we'll discuss section 464 of companies act 2013 that is uh, illegal associations in other words when the registration of company is mandatory okay to whom registration of company is uh, mandatory i'll take one entity entity or organization you can call it as an entity or you can call it as a organization an entity or organization okay an entity or organization can i i can call it as an entity or an organization next so this entity or organization i'll categorized into three parts we'll categorize the entry or organization into three parts okay so the first part is the first part is a hf hindu undivided family second part is a professionals governed by special acts professionals governed by special acts second category is professionals governed by special acts professionals governed by special acts professionals governed by special acts so example chartered accountant cost accountants etc example chartered account cost of company secretary chartered accountant cost accountant etc hf professionals governed by special acts next other associations or partnerships other association or partnership other association or partnership other association or partnership other association or partnership so hf these two hf and partnership of professionals no limit no registration no limit no registration required okay no limit no limit on number of members no limit on members and no registration required okay there is no limit on those two category of entities and also there is no registration required there is no registration required now coming to the other entities other entities see whether it is a profit motive or non profit motive so if other entities are profit motive or if the other entities are non profit motive if this other entities are a non profit motive this is a profit motive and other entities are a non profit motive right so if these other entities are non profit motive no limit no registration okay no limit no registration okay so this other entities are profit motive this other entities are a profit motive so if these other entities are profit motive check registered under other laws then registration under companies act is not required common sense right okay already registered under other laws registered under other acts registered under other laws registered under other laws not registered anywhere not registered not registered if they have registered under any other law if they have registered under any other law then registration under companies act is not required common sense because they have already registered somewhere therefore registration under companies act is not required registration under companies act 2013 not required a registration under companies act 2013 not required okay if not registered anywhere else so it is not a hf it is not a partnership of professional professionals governed by special act some other entity in that and then it also non profit motive no limit no registration within the profit motive check whether it is registered under other laws or not registered if it is not registered anywhere then registration is mandatory under companies act no no, no sorry so if not registered under other acts now check whether the number of members are 50 or more okay check whether the number of members number of members in the association okay number of members number of members less than 50 okay number of members less than 50 okay more than 50 okay number of members more than 50 so number of members less than 50 and number of members more than 50 if number of members are less than 50 so no limit uh, no registration no registration required no registration required if the number of members are less than 50 no registration required if the number of members are more than 50 if the number of members are more than 50 then you have to check my registration is mandatory under companies act registration is mandatory under companies act registration is mandatory under companies act 2013 sir if not registered what happens sir if not registered okay if not registered if not registered the consequences if not registered what are the consequences if not registered the consequences are it is treated as an illegal association it is treated as a illegal association it is treated as an illegal association, no legal entity, personal liability of members, personal liability of members, no legal identity, 
no legal identity, no capacity to shoot. No capacity to shoot. These are the consequences. So what if, if it is treated as an illegal association? I have not registered, but what is the consequences? It will be treated as an illegal association and the members are personally liable. Company does, the entity does not have legal identity. Therefore, it cannot shoot others. It cannot uh, shoot others. It cannot file a suit against others. No capacity to shoot. It cannot file a suit against others. So this is what the point. So an entity or registration check, whether it is an HUF or professionals governed by special acts in those two cases no limit no registration if it is other entities then check profit motive or non-profit motive if it is non-profit motive no limit no registration if it is profit motive check whether it is registered under other laws or not if it is already registered under other laws no registration is required under a company sector <coughs> If it is not registered under other laws, if it is not registered under other laws, then check the number of members less than 50, no registration required, number of members more than 50, registration is mandatory under, mandatory under Companies Act. So what happens if I am not, if the, if the entity is not registered? It will be treated as an illegal association. Therefore, it, illegal association means no separate legal entity. So if the entity does not have a separate legal entity, members are personally liable. They does not have a shoe. So in order to file a suit, I should have some legal entity. My name is Aditya. So as per government legal records, I have a legal entity. Therefore, I can file a suit against others. I have I have an identity. In the government records, I have an identity. But this association does not have an identity in the government records. Therefore, it cannot file a suit against others. Okay. So this is all about the illegal association. In other words, for which type of business entities registration is mandatory? For which type of business entities registration is mandatory under Companies Act? Okay. <coughs> For which types of business entities registration is mandatory under Companies Act. Okay, this is all about the illegal associations. Thank you.